Juice Gang. What up, YouTube? It's Nico, and I am back with another video. Okay. Do you guys know the streetwear called Off White? You know Off White. It is one of the major uh, streetwear brands and also one of the best designer labels out right now. You know, I, I, I remember when it first came out, you know, and that was blown up and as big as it is right now. You know, it is one of the best streetwear brands out right now, especially among hype beasts and, and many others. And also, like, Off-White is also a major trend among hip-hop artists as well, and also in the hip-hop culture, too. Yeah. But, it's big. And, um, but, uh, let's watch this, let's watch this reaction video, and let's see how it started. All right. Here we go. A major trend in streetwear is the deconstructivist aesthetic. The mass popularity of this style is partially the effort of one man in the streetwear spotlight, Virgil Abloh. His brand is called Off White, and it's on top of the game right now. But is it here to stay? Off-White's first collection arrived in 2014. It was packed with streetwear staples like oversized hoodies, leather jackets, flannel shirts, and distressed denim. These garments carried a key distinctive feature. They were audaciously branded with giant logos and striped graphics. Off-White would read across the back of the shirts like a name on a jersey. Stripes would be imprinted on sides of socks and every article of clothing would announce itself when worn together. It's like Virgil was trying to create a team uniform for the sport of being an eclectic fashionista. This look was the beginning of the second phase of Virgil's creative evolution. His first direct foray into apparel was the creation of his brand Pyrex Vision. Launched in 2012, Pyrex was a fashion experiment for Virgil. The name was inspired by the Pusha T line. Pyrex stirs turned into Cavalli furs. The full lane cat when I weighed the kitty purrs. While the clips were mixing street life and art in order to make money, Virgil was conceptually trying to make his version of crack cocaine. He took Michael Jordan's number, <laughs> discounted oh. champion and polo garments, and whipped up a way to create product in demand. Pyrex Vision items sold for $100 to $500 a piece. The absurdity of the concept, plus the endorsement of his celebrity connections, made the vision into reality. Virgil had made his first noticeable mark as an individual designer. For years before that, he played a support role in an influential collective. He's a founding member of Kanye West's Donda Creative Content Company, a co-founder of RSVP Gallery, and a pivotal figure in the art collective slash DJ crew, Ben Trill. Here's how each of these groups have laid the foundation for Off-White's now iconic art direction. Kanye's first runway show in 2012 was the first major step the Donda team would take into the world of high fashion. They would later realize their design potential with 2015's Yeezy Season 1, a focus on oversized, distressed materials with a striking color palette. RSVP Gallery would act as Virgil's exercise in curating art objects and fashion. His ability to create a unified look is one of the primary characteristics of Off-White. Pyrex and Off-White's initial look can most likely be traced back to Virgil's experience with Ben Trill. Fashion and branding remain at the core of Ben Trill. Since 2012, they often collaborated to produce clothing with Hood by Air, a streetwear label that quickly evolved into runway high fashion much like Off-White in the present day. As Pyrex Vision was reborn into a luxury cut and sew brand called Off-White, Virgil began to produce more considered designs. No longer using other brands' clearance merchandise as his material source, Virgil began making clothes that received more acclaim than criticism. 
Off-White began to look at home alongside legendary looks of Raph Simmons, Rei Kawakubo, and Yoji Yamamoto. Also, the brand was becoming an equal to its established peers, Hood by Air, Yeezy, and Vetmon. As Off-White's repetitive branding technique became more exposed, Virgil and his work became more recognizable. His method of repurposing common clothing items in order to increase their value began to gain legitimacy. In 2015, he was a finalist for the LVMH Prize for Young Fashion Designers. For a moment, think about this. Working with Donda gave Virgil the validation to call himself an influencer. In opening RSVP Gallery, Virgil gave himself validation to associate his products with art and luxury. The creation of Pyrex Vision was validated by the fact that it was available at RSVP Gallery as an art and fashion experiment. Off-White is the current apex of this creative process. It's built on the foundation of Virgil. Once he announces the value of his work, it's then legitimized by a sphere of influencers. In turn, the demand is created, and Off-White is able to quickly evolve clothing into a movement. But here's what's interesting. As Virgil's career progression continues to build on itself, his aesthetic is further being broken down into the basic elements. Enter the deconstructivist era. Off-White began to hit a serious stride in 2017 when they released the 10 collection. This series of sneaker collabos with Nike, Jordan, and Converse was a fresh new look that was a major hit in the sartorial community. If you look a little closer, these shoes have a direct lineage to Pyrex Vision. They're Jordans, they're already branded, they've been reworked to become something else, and the demand has immediately increased. Virgil has perfected his version of crack. <laughs> Just like the household items of water and baking soda breaks down and reassembles with cocaine to give a more potent rush, Off-White is here to break down household names and reassemble them for a potent fashion statement. And the addiction is growing. In 2018, Virgil was appointed the creative director of Louis Vuitton. He oh, released man. a collection that, once again, stayed true to his methodology. The lineup included exactly what you guessed. Construction and material-focused garments and Jordan references. Like Louis Vuitton's previous collabo with Supreme, the world of ultra-luxury has yet another solidified relationship to the street by working with Virgil. Off-White now has more validation than ever. No longer playing second fiddle to Hood by Air or Yeezy, its niche market is continuing to expand. Other brands are finding success following the Off-White approach, such as Heron Preston, Palm Angels, and A Cold Wall. Even Nike has made a collection inspired by its own collaboration. Off-White is truly living up to its motto of the existing between the space. It's a bit of street edge in the luxury world and a luxurious statement on the streets. But is this a permanent space? Which begs the question, is the process of breaking down and rebuilding objects in order to create value something that will continue to live on in fashion, or is this just a hot trend that Off-White is able to capitalize on? Does Off-White have any staying power, or is it meant to be built upon and transformed into something else? If so, how will it be built upon? If Pyrex Vision was made literally on the back of Champion and Polo, what can be made off the back of Off-White? From the looks of it, one can argue that Off-White garments aren't meant to be further tinkered with, or else you'd simply put them back together and remove the value. This look is new, current, and fresh. But since it's so bold, one can imagine Off-White's striking appearance becoming somewhat dated in the future. Is this an intentional feature? Is the point of the brand to mark the current state of things by highlighting every component? Is deconstructivism just an extrapolation of being meta? The ultimate question is where will Virgil take Off-White? He now has enough legitimacy to call Off-White an established luxury fashion house, or turn RSVP gallery into a museum, or turn his career into a historical retrospective. One day, will he allow someone else to come in and rework his objects and environment in the same manner that he disrupted the culture? Will he take credit for that as he becomes the facilitator for legitimacy? One thing is for sure, value can be identified when you choose to break down and analyze the components of the resources around you. Once you name your value, 
focus on gaining legitimacy. Build off that legitimacy and take your work to another level. That's what it means to push product. Let us know what you think about Off-White and the future of Virgil Abloh by leaving a comment. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. We're a small operation that just started, and we need your support to grow. Check out our website and follow us on Instagram. Thanks. All right, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about how Off-White started and also about how how big it is it is right now so if you enjoyed this video please give a like comment and also subscribe again if you enjoyed this video like subscribe leave a comment all right youtube juice game